On this day in 1901, a drilling derrick at Spindletop Hill near Bowman, Texas, produces an enormous gush of crude oil, coating the landscape for hundreds of feet and signaling the advent of the American oil industry. On this day in 1920, the League of Nations formally comes into effect when the Covenant of the League of Nations, ratified by 42 nations in 1919, takes effect. On this day in 1923, four years after the end of World War I, President Warren G. Harding orders US occupation troops stationed in Germany to return home. The first General Assembly of the United Nations, comprising 51 nations, convenes at Westminster Central Hall in London, England on this day in 1946. One week later, the UN Security Council met for the first time and established its rules and procedures. On this day in 1962, an avalanche on the slopes of an extinct volcano kills more than 4,000 people in Peru. Nine towns and seven smaller villages were destroyed. As part of an arrangement to decrease Cold War tensions and to end a brutal civil war in Angola, Cuban troops began their withdrawal from the Angolan nation on this day in 1989. The process was part of a multilateral diplomatic effort to end years of bloodshed in Angola, a conflict that, at one time or another, involved the Soviet Union, the United States, Portugal and South Africa. Frank James' brother, the more well-known outdoor Jesse James, was born in Clay County, Missouri on this day in 1843. Jesse is on the left and Frank on the right. Scottish music legend Rod Stewart was born on this day in 1945. Also born on this day in 1949 was former world heavyweight boxing champion George Foreman. And finally on this day in 1879, 22-year-old Prince Imperial of France, Eugene-Louis Jean-Joseph Napoleon, who studied in England at the Royal Military Academy and joined the British forces, is killed during the Anglo-Zulu War in South Africa. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and tune in tomorrow for another This Day in History.